it's been a minute since I've been to Starbucks. Like, it's been uh, it's been like two weeks since I've been to Starbucks, and I really can't believe I went that long without it. I don't know about y'all, but Starbucks just make me feel like I'm a new new man. Starbucks make me feel like I'm a new new man. I honestly cannot function straight without it. So it is what it is. You know, it is Saturday. I'm really not trading the markets. You know, I'm really just chilling. I'm really just chilling. So I don't got much to do today. Um, I really don't feel like trading crypto this weekend. But I'm about to. I'm about to order this drink. See, see what I'm about to get. Hi there. Welcome to Starbucks. This is Sierra. How are you talking today? Um, can I get a caramel ribbon crunch? Yeah, totally. What size is it? Uh, can I get grande? Grande. Can I get can, get can I get extra caramel and um yeah, and hazelnut um uh, I would say two pumps. So unfortunately, we are actually still out of our hazelnut uh, at the moment. Okay, can I just get um extra caramel then? Yeah, extra caramel. Just landing on you today. And that'll be all. Awesome. That's all. It's five seventy-two. I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Get kind of mad because every time I come to Starbucks. It's something that I want, and they never have it. They never have it. I don't understand. Like when I come to Starbucks, and I try to get breakfast or something, they be like, uh, let's say if I wanted a, a roasted ham and Swiss croissant, they be like, I don't have a ro we don't have roasted roasted ham and Swiss croissant, and I just be like, why you won't go back there and make? It? One thing I learned about Starbucks is they never pull people up and tell them to wait. Like if I want to order something, how y'all got it? tomorrow but y'all don't have it right now why y'all can't make it right now why y'all can't make it right now it's like why the fuck they can't make it right now that's what be making me mad because if i want something i want something you can't just tell me that you don't have it i know y'all got some goddamn ham i want to say y'all ran out for the day because y'all lazy ass don't feel like making no more damn sandwiches that be making me mad but they really be mad because every time i come here they don't got something they don't got hazelnut today i ain't even ordered no sandwich today but they don't even have the hazelnut stuff, so that really made me mad because that really be setting my drink off. No cap. That really be making me mad. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're about to go ahead and get this breakdown started. What we're going to be going over today is we're going to be going over Jer 30. As you see, we have a lot of risk to awards up on my screen right now. Yes, I killed Jer 30 this week. It's Friday, the market is about to close. So we're about to go ahead and get into this breakdown of how I caught thousands of pips this week off of Jer 30. So what I realized about Jer 30 was we had this range of market. So what I mean by that, we see how the market is playing in this position to here, to here, here, to here, here, to here, here, to here. Okay, so now what we have to do in trading, we have to trade what we see and not what we think. We want to trade what we see and not what we think. So cool. So all that I had to do was I had to identify these levels, which I did right here. I identified this bottom level right here, but then I also identified a trend up top. I identified a trend up top. And that's what's going to give me this new play right here that I'm currently in. That's what this is going to give me, this trend up top. But in between here, I seen that this area was rejected three times. This area was rejected three times. So now I come down here. I see that this area is rejected twice with good wicks. These are good wicks in this area. So now if I know that we previously rejected this area twice, when I come back to it for a third time, why would we not reject it again? So cool. So what you're going to see in this breakdown, you realize that I got into this first trade right here for 1900 pips. I got in it all the way over here. But you see that it rejected over here. So what I did was not only, you know, once the market dropped and came to this area, I don't just get in. I have to wait for candle confirmations. I have to wait for, you know, different things to cross for me to be able to get into this trade. So with this moving average I have right here, this blue one, all that I waited for was this rejection here. You know, we got multiple candles. But once this moving average got underpriced, that's when I decided to take this trade. And that's how I got 1,900 pips right here. But now, once we caught these 900, 1,900 pips, I don't want to just leave. I don't want to just leave. If I can kill this pair over and over and over, that's fine. I want to do that. So now, once we got up to this area right here, again, I didn't get to this area just because it reversed over here and just get in. You know, I could have been, you know, red for a little while if I would have did that, you know, because it went right back up. So now what I wait for is I wait for it to get some rejection candles. I need red candles. But again, with this moving average right here, this blue one right here, once price gets under it, 
Once price gets under this moving average, I get into the trade. I get into this trade, and this trade went 3,000 pips. 3,000 pips. I'm not going to show y'all on my on my MetaTrader where I actually took these trades. I actually took these trades. So now, when I got these 3,000 pips, I didn't mean to get these 3,000 pips. I meant to close right here, but I didn't have a, um, a take profit. I forgot to set it. And I actually caught more pips than what I was supposed to catch. Caught more pips than I was actually supposed to catch. So I actually wrote it down to about this area. So now once we, you know, um, once we rejected this area right here, what I realized was we had these candlesticks right here. And what these candlesticks are right here is, you know, if you get a little bit more advanced in the market, <clears throat> this shows me that this is a reversal and continuation candlestick pattern. And we had three candles side by side, bullish, bearish, and then a bullish candle. Okay, now since the market doesn't like fast moving candles, I know that this candle is going to come back and get filled. I know that this candle is going to come back and get filled. So now what we want to do with that, how far is that candle going to get filled before we get another entry? So all I'm going to do is grab my Fibonacci, Fibonacci tool right here. And all I did went from this low to this high right here. Once we rejected it, you're going to see it came cleanly to the 61.8 level. Came to the 61.8 level, did not reach the 71. Boom, we got that push momentum up bullish. So that's why I took my trade right here. We got a good bullish engulfing off the one hour. That's a clean trade. I decided to get into that trade. No, I didn't ride it all the way back up to here because I felt like since we broke this area, we were going to come back, retest, and then go down. So I set my take profit here for 1,600 pips. That's fine. We have 1,900 pips, basically 2,000 plus 3,000 plus another 1,600. That's another 1,600. That's easy. That's great. That's great amount of pips. So now, once we get up here, we break above these moving these moving averages, and we come right back up here to that level where I'm looking at. We come right back up here to that level that I'm looking at. So cool. So what I see right here is I'm going to see, you know, obviously it's going to consolidate a minute before it actually makes that move. But what I'm seeing on Jerk 30 right now is I'm seeing that it's about to push back down. If it does hit stop loss, that's fine. Because if it breaks out of this area, now we're gonna now we know we're gonna continue to buy. So if this is stop loss, I'm gonna buy it. Either way, I'm going to make my money. And that's all that it's about. Learning that skill set to where you know if you do lose, hey, you can get it right back. So I know if it breaks this um, trend line up here, it's gonna continue to buy, and I'm gonna buy Jer 30. So you know, that's pretty much my breakdown on this pair. And I hope that helps somebody, you know, be able to identify a range and market in the near future. Um if you like this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure if you like, you know, my content that I've dropped, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And make sure you go ahead and push that not post notification bell that way you never miss a uh, video by me. You know, because we're going to continue to come with the trades and you're going to come with the breakdowns. I know a lot of people like these breakdown videos, so I'm going to continue to keep going. So go ahead and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can become a part of the CMO Pits family. I will see everybody in the next video.